it's as pretty as any floral bouquet as far as I'm concerned. A beautiful pepper plant. When I plant my garden outside in the summer, I uh, buy the little six packs. Then I put one red, one yellow, and one green in this pot and just left it on the patio. It was kind of nice. I'm going to need uh, one of each at least color. Um, I think I'm going to put two orange in there. And Oh, that one's really stuck on there. All right, now what I need to do is go wash them off and I'll come right back and we'll start the tart. I'm back from washing my peppers and now we continue with our roasted pepper tart. I'm going to cut the tops off, then cut them in half. And all I wanna do is remove that membrane and those seeds and I'm going to put them in a pan because we're going to roast these peppers. That's why it's called a roasted red pepper tart. We roast them first and then put them in the tart and finish them in the oven. So now with the green, just a little knife here, get that neck out of there. And then all those seeds. This is a really nice tart to make during the summer. It's a healthy tart. It's an alternative to pizza. You really have to like peppers, and I like peppers very much. My husband and I both do. And now the yellow. And again, it doesn't matter the size of the peppers, just how many you're going to put in. I'm going to put this in an eight inch shell. And we're going to make a custard filling to go over it, and then more cheese, of course, and then bake that in the oven. Okay, there are our peppers, and then I have here some garlic-infused olive oil, which I'm going to brush over the peppers. And my oven is heating to 400 degrees, and we're going to put these peppers in for about 20 minutes just until they get nice and soft. I put these in the oven at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes and they're all roasted and soft and gooey. Now this is another pie shell in a tart pan, uh, just a regular pie crust, your own or you can buy it. We'll put that aside for the moment. And we wanna chop up these peppers. They're still kind of really warm. Ooh, they smell good though. Come on. Okay. What I'm going to do is slice them. See the steam coming off of them. They are warm. But the colors together are very pretty. Red, the yellow, the green. And also I have here about a cup or a cup and a half of sliced mozzarella cheese. And then we're going to put together a custard. Custard is nothing more than eggs and milk. And we're going to put that over this and then this is going back into the oven. So we'll get our dish and just sprinkle these around. Looks like a party going on. Mm. This is going to be lunch today. Okay, well, that's that. Now, we're going to get our mozzarella. Well, I think I'm gonna put the custard on before I put the cheese on. You can do it either way. Two eggs. Some pepper, just to taste. Salt. 
and this is two thirds cup of whole milk. You don't want to use one percent or two percent here. You want the whole milk. Whisk it up. Don't get messy. Then we're going to pour it in our crust. Now we're going to top it with our mozzarella cheese. This is just to cover. And then the topping on this afterwards will be some more basil. Because basil is goes wonderful with peppers. And it's in season right now. Okay, I'm gonna put this back on my tray because when this goes in the oven I just don't want to have any accidents. And then our basil. Rough chop. And then we're going to put it in our 400 degree oven for about 20 minutes or until the custard is set. And you'll know that because you can stick a knife into the custard and if it comes out and it's not wet, it will be done. So, into a 400 degree oven we go.